Fellow actor or actress, what is the weakest part of an actor? What's the strongest part of an actor? There are five arenas that we live in each and every day, sort of like Rocky Balboa. Hey, Adrian, I did it! But there are five arenas, and the first arena is the strongest of all. In fact, it is the arena that where you can find your unlimited potential, passion, and your power. And then there's the smallest arena of all, which is very weak, actually, if your first arena is not strengthened each and every each and every day. What are these five arenas and how do they affect you? I'm about to tell you, so follow me. Presenting the five arenas of life. Five, 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 five. Introducing. In this corner, you will see Spirit Arena. It's time to check your prayer life and morality. And in this corner, the Body Arena. Check your exercise regimen and your diet. And in this corner, the Mental Arena. Check your BS. What do you believe in? What do you believe? And in this corner, feelings, nothing more than feelings. The emotional arena. Like a wave, a wave of the sea, so is the days of our lives. <laughs> and finally, in this corner, the financial arena. Uh-oh, there's a coin shortage. I better hold on to these. <laughs> now these five arenas, spiritual, physical, mental, emotional, and financial. You fight in them each and every day. I do too. The cool thing is, is that we can relate to other characters in the same way because they are fighting in those arenas as well. Characters are fighting these same arenas throughout the whole script. Therefore, we can relate to them. I've said this before and it still holds true. Acting is not acting. Acting is relating. So, you know so. the five arenas of life. The five arenas of life are spiritual, physical, or the body, mental, study, discipline, your belief system, emotions, and financial. So there are five. And those five same arenas not only apply to you, they apply to characters as well. Because everything that we go through, characters go through. And why is that? Well, that's because characters are written in a script by people just like you and me. Now, let's take a look at the diagram behind me, shall we? There are five arenas, as we just said, but there are four corners of an arena. Stay with me now. There are four corners. Now, what are these four corners and what do they represent in life as well as in a boxing ring where you fight for your life and fight for your career and fight for your relationships and fight for this and fight for that? Allow me to read. A boxing ring is square in shape. Two of the opposite corner posts are colored blue and red, whereas the other two are white. For easy identification by the referee, one of the fighters is assigned the red corner and the other the blue corner, while the referee occupies one of the white ones called the neutral corner. Now the neutral corner, what is that designed for besides the referee? I'll tell you. When there is a knockout, the other opponent must step back into the neutral area for 10 seconds to see if the other fighter is going to get up or stay down. There are rules and regulations to the boxing ring. It's the same thing in life. You and I fight spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially to achieve and to create an acting career and a fulfilling life. Every single Every day, you and I step into the ring and are, we have referees. But who's the referee? Well, that could be a coach, moi, or it could be yourself. That's what I said. How in the world, David, how in the world can you look at yourself while you're doing stuff and carry around a mirror? <laughs> well, no, not really. What you do is you step out, sort of like a cameraman, sort of like a cinematographer. You back up and you view your whole day. You view your whole day. What are you doing with your 24 hours? Obviously, you are in the fight, but it's important to step back and ask yourself these questions. Who am I? What am I doing? Where am I currently right now, financially, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually? Have I been developing myself so I can give to my acting career, give to my family, give to God, give and give the performance of my life? So it's very necessary to step back like a referee and take a look at hey, wait a minute, what am I fighting for? What am I sacrificing my life for? My time, my money, my energy. What am I doing it for? Because if you don't do that, you are going to KO'd. Now I'd like to jump into the ring again with you and explain some things about life, about boxing, and about acting. All in one. 
There are four corners. We discussed that. Four corners of the arena. There's only one position that you can hold at one time, and that's in the ring while you're fighting, right? Only one position. If we try to hold too many things in our hands, we're going to get mixed up. TMI, too much information, not enough action, right? Exactly. Now, within this sporting event of life, there are people. There are people. There are judges. Judges have a way of judging. That would be casting directors and coaches and teachers and family and friends and everybody else. They have something to say. And they hold a position close to the ring, don't they? If you take a look, judges stool. They sit there and they watch you as you're fighting and fighting as you're fighting for your lifetime. Now also there are people that there are people that willingly support you, such as ring card presenters. Hmm? They are there supporting you, making life a little bit prettier. And of course there's the timekeepers. Well, you know what, you've been doing this a long time, you know, this acting career and this relationship that you have and it's you know what, I'm your friend, okay? And I'm just trying to look out for you because, well, we're all on a time budget, you see? And, you know, and there's those people, you know, timekeepers. Uh, well, uh, you've been doing this for five years. <laughs> when, when is it going to pay off? And, of course, there's a general audience. The general audience are people that you know are there, but you don't see them all the time. But they're watching you. They're watching you. And consequently, many times, I'm sure you'll agree with this, is that acquaintances and even strangers are more supportive than, oddly enough, the judges and the timekeepers and the family and the friends that you thought were on your side. Now, I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm saying they tend to look for the weaknesses instead of the strengths. Why do they do that? There's a few reasons. One of them could be, hey, you're making them look bad because they know they could be doing a lot better in their life or in their acting career or whatever they're doing or in their marriage or et cetera, et cetera. Or they could be jealous. Yeah, that happens. In fact, there's a scripture in the Bible to back all this up and it says this, your foes will be those of your own household. So you have to keep an eye. You're in the fight, absolutely. But as you're in the fight, as you're in the center stage and you're looking around, you see the general audience. You view and listen to the timekeepers. <laughs> You, you embrace the ring card presenters because they, make, because they make life more beautiful. They cheer you on. And of course, the judges. There are good judges. There are bad judges. And you know what? That neutral corner that I told you about in the boxing ring, you can step away from the fight for a while and breathe and relax a little bit to, rega to recharge your batteries. So make sure you hold your position in this thing called life and in your acting career. So I hope this helped you today. Remember there are five remember there are five arenas of life. Don't ignore them, pay attention to them and step back and see what's really going on as you're fighting. If you need a coach, I may be the one for you. David Thompson Coaching.co David Thompson Coaching.co Like, subscribe, and share this video as well as others. I love you guys and and keep fighting.